Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be sharing five crock pot recipes that we love to make in the fall and winter months. I have four dinner recipes and one breakfast, overnight breakfast recipe. So if you're interested in seeing those, stay tuned. Okay, so the first thing is gonna be these blueberry overnight oats. So I've got frozen blueberries, brown sugar, avocado oil, water, flaxseed, steel cut oats, milk of your choice, a little bit of butter, cinnamon, salt, and vanilla extract. I will put the recipes um, for each of these in the description box. So I will put all of the like measurements and everything in there. Um, but basically I just add the steel cut oats, add the blueberries, put in the milk, put in all the like seasoning, I guess. Um, and then I just put it in the crock pot overnight. And when we woke up, breakfast was ready. It was warm. My husband wakes up really early for work and this was all ready for him. And he was so grateful and he thought it was really delicious. This one was probably my favorite. This is the first time I made this, but this was a crock pot beef stroganoff. So I just have some um, like cubed beef and like stew meat, I think it's called, um, onion soup mix and cream of mushroom soup. I mixed that all together and it was so good. I just put it on low for eight hours. Um, we could do whatever we wanted during the day. And then um, I kind of just mixed it up and you could put mushrooms in here but my husband hates mushrooms so i just cooked some of mine um, for my plate and then i serve it with egg noodles and green beans here's another easy dinner it is just chicken breasts um, red potatoes and green beans and i made this kind of like seasoned I don't know, over top of it, with minced garlic, lemon juice, olive oil, Italian seasoning, salt, onion powder, and pepper. So I just put the chicken on the bottom, then the green beans and the potatoes on top, and then I just mixed up, Harper's helping me, I just mixed up the oil and all the seasonings and I put it over top. I would actually kind of double this. I feel like it wasn't seasoned enough, for us at least, um, but I do like things heavily seasoned. But I just put the lid on that thing and I put it in for eight hours on low and dinner was delicious. And this actually left me a ton of uh, leftover chicken, which pulls me into my next meal, which I actually saw on TikTok. So I made um, this Buffalo Wild Wings garlic parmesan pasta with the leftover chicken, a entire bottle of the Buffalo chicken or buffalo wild wings garlic parmesan sauce um and then i just filled that bottle back up with milk to get the rest of it out and make some liquid in the in the crock pot for like a sauce um this is not a healthy meal a couple of these are like healthier meals this one is not um so then i just poured in a bunch of parmesan cheese and put in a block of cream cheese cubed up um and i let that cook all day and then I just cooked up some pasta with it and threw in the pasta when it was done. Um, I always cook pasta separate in um, crock pot meals because I think cooking pasta in the crock pot um, makes it really mushy and I don't like to do that. So um, I just cooked the chicken at first, um, really just heated it up because everything was cooked in there. And then um, I just set the pasta in once that was all heated up.
And this one is just a classic chuck roast. I have onions, celery, and garlic. I would normally have um, carrots, but I forgot to buy carrots. And then I have some red potatoes. I put in all those veggies. Um, like I said, I would have a bunch of carrots usually. It's my favorite, but I put all the veggies in. And then I just put a chuck roast over top. Um, I feel like everybody has like their own way of doing this. Sometimes I'll sear the meat. I didn't really feel like it. I'm not that worried about it. Um, and today I was feeling kind of lazy, so I just threw a, an onion soup mix over top. And then I always, I don't know why, I, my grandma told me that I just I fill up the little packet with water and throw that in there to give it a little moisture. And I let that thing cook on all day. Um, I think I have this one set for eight hours, but I think I actually ended up switching it and cooking it for 10 um, but it doesn't look like much, but it is delicious. So I hope you enjoyed these recipes. I will link all of them down below. I didn't like create the recipes. I'm just making them. Um, so I will link all of those in the description box. Please be sure to subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Bye.